We thank God for his strength. All over the world, I greet you in Jesus' name. I am still talking about the ability to see. Yet the Yamia say, I will not want to be home. What we are seeing for now, we see him walk yesterday morning. We go to a casa for the betume ama wa huna di ye ehun. Let's hear the heavens report for today. Because I am the giver of life. I don't want to see the death of my creation. Because I live forever, I want my creation to be with me and live forever. If you want life and don't want to see death, refuse to be with demons and anything that is connected to death. Thus says the Lord. Amen. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Yenti in the heaven amani bono. A son se me ma and quanti me pese me hunu ma body e wo. A son se me tia se da danti me pese ma body e ba me chain na. What na se dada? Se open kwa na umpese ube hun uwa. Mem penso enko adamon in chain. Na mem fa hum fam adi biara eye uwu em. Se de radi sieni. We yo sofu, Dr. Kukudazi, mamani ba, me the free heaven. As I have been telling you. Many people are indulging in abominable things to attract God's wrath and generational curses on themselves. It's because of demonic inducements and lack of knowledge. Said ye me kanchre wono. Ni pepi ene ye busudie na odia chinyan kupon ebufushie. Any I want to at was on me at the abba one so na nina ye a damon in shesso any dim dia won ninti. That is why God wants you to hear the things that are abominable in his sight and the ramifications are tied to them so that you will refrain from them. Anunti ne nyan kupon pese wo ti niema e ye busudie e wo ne niso. E ni insun sanson suwa e wo hon. Se di e be ya obe chon hon e frisa ni ema no e hon. No matter who you are and your position and your achievements on earth, don't let it seem to you as if you are God. And found the power, any would be a any near my obey to me a year war as I see so. My man ain't coming yet to say, Oh, yeah, yummy. And if you are a follower, don't infuriate God by praising and giving God's glory to your leader. If you do that, you do so at the peril of the life of your leader. Your leader will suffer because of your abominable praise. Ne se wuye e chidi ni insuwa. Men she nyamie bufo. Wabra u bo kendi ni se. Na u di nyamie ni mo nyam e manu. Se wuye sa. E ye wa u kendi ni ni nkwa. E na u di ko musiom. U kendi ni ribe huna mani. E san u busu a ye ye nindi. Listen to what Daniel talked in the book of Nazar about God in Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 to 22. He said, The name of God is blessed forever and ever. Wisdom and might are his. Denoting that wisdom and power. 
belong to only God. He changes the times and seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. That means God has power to kill a king and raise another king. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in darkness and light dwells with him. Amen. That is how powerful my God is. Amen. Hallelujah. Tiedia Daniel, a catcher, or he in a book at Neza, a fine yamu, a word Daniel, woman, tea meno, chichemu, a duno, a decosi, a duno meno. Or say, in Shranka, Yankupon, din, da da ne da. Nanyansa, any more din, a yenidia. Now, see, it says, Yankupon, kuto ho, and a yansa, any to me wo. Or si sa emre ene na. O tu hene, e si hene. Na che se, nyami wo tu mi se, obe kum o hene bi. Na wapeja fufro. O di nyansa, ema e nyansa fo. Na wana, o wo inti asyeso, wo ma wo nimdiye. O yi, e hinta se mwa e mudo. Na hain, e wo nincheng. Sa, and he said, Ye me young coupon, or to me, pa. Therefore, if you don't know this, and you compare any human being to God, you want to see God's wrath. You want him to kill you and your leader. And when you say, Now the nipper that send it be a to two yame one. O person who yame a buffoche. O person yame kum. Having heard this about the Lord God Almighty who created everything, including your leader, don't compare any human being to him. If you do that, you will attract God's wrath and generational curse into your bloodline. So we yes, sir. Obechi nyankupo bufushie eni a wantu atu aso no me edi aba umojem. So it's very serious to compare a human being to God. Nechese se e asem kesiye pa se. God killed Herod in that shameful way to prove to his followers that he has power to remove any king from the earth. Yami kum Herod was a enim guasye kwaene so edi chile na chidi fono se wo tu mi se obe tu mi e yi o hini biara e filasasi so. So never praise and give God's glory to any leader on earth. I don't even more or say, "Nem fa nyami eni mo nyam e ma okendini biya e wasasi soda." Let me continue to give you more of the things that are abominable in God's sight, so that you will fear and not indulge in them. Mami ngusuwa mau, e niye ma, e ye e busudye wo nyami e ni mnubi. Se di ebe ya ube suru, na unye mubi ya ada. Another abomination is to stumble someone from going to God. E busudye biyo nise, ube tu ube suntu dia, na umani nko nyanko ponche. You should never, never block anyone. From going to God. Shena wen si obia kwan da. Se o mani mko nyanku ponche. God wants everyone to come to him and be saved. Therefore, if you do that, you take a demonic stand. 
you don't want anyone to be saved. You go against God. You become God's enemy. And that is a very, very serious stance. Nyankupon pese obia ba nenchen na obe nyankwa. And you say, oh yes, sir. Uko jina adamo ni jina biya. Na um pese ni pe biya be nyankwa. Uko tia nyame. Na u dani nyame tanfo. Ne basa a yadia e humpa. In the old covenant, God said in Deuteronomy chapter 13 that any prophet who turns the heart of the people away from him should be stoned to death. Wo apam dada numono. Nyankupon kan wo Deuteronomy numano ti dumi ensase. O di fwo biara obed dani nipano akuma efri ne hono. O zi na buo enkono. And in the new covenant, the Lord Jesus also said in Luke chapter 17 verse 2 that, Woe to the one through whom offense may come. He said, it will be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and were thrown into the sea. Than that, he should offend one of these little ones. What the Lord Jesus was telling the disciples was that if someone is innocent as a little child and wants to come to him and you block him, hanging a millstone around your neck and being thrown into the sea is better. And now, Ni pa sun ti du ya nam no so ebe banon onye. Na o kan se, e ye sen ka ye di, kun kuma buwa ke siye pa abe sen sa ni pa kronu kom, na ya tu na tu e pum. A chen se, o be tu mo fran ki tu a yi mo bakon sun ti du ya. Di ene radi Yesu Christo e kan che si yon fono e ne se, se o bi tri mo fayin e ti sa akoda ki tu a. Nese opeso obane nchen. Nese usidi kwa ya. Se yedi kunku mabuwa ke siye pa se ukomu. Na ye tu tu e punu mukra enkeye. Hey, that is serious oh. That dying with a millstone around your neck in the midst of the sea is better. Kai. That is a serious issue. Hey, adia e humpa au. Se, uhu. Wabra ye di kunku mabuwa ke siye pa asen ukomu ewo e pudumunu eno kwa ye. Hey, ene ene ya sem ke siye pa. It denotes that the punishment that God will meet out to such a person will be heavier. He will punish such a person vehemently. Asye chese, asuchi ya nyankupa un edibe masa ni panu. And no be a dimpa. But they are suchin ke siepa. And a be masa nipano. So don't be a demon to prevent anyone from going to God. And undi menye adamoni. Wabra ube si ubi kwense umani nkonya menje. You will suffer the same punishment that God will give to demons. You will burn with demons forever in the lake of fire. A suchin krono a nyami de be ma adamone nu biya na ubenya. Uni adamone be shia fibo e wo e jatadye no emu. But today, because of obstinacy and demonic inducements, some people intentionally impede innocent people from going to God and become abomination in God's sight. Nansu sunne, e san a sondi, e ni adamon e nche sondi, e ni pe binu mu she da a se, o be si ni pe binu mu a, o mu ni a se mu kwa yin se, o ma wong ko nyamin chen, na wa ye busu diye, e wo nyamin e ni so. They do that in two ways. One, 
is through parental authority. Omo ye sa wo kwa imi ye nisu. Bako eye se wo fa awufo to me asu. Because of the authority that God gave to parents, some of them use it to block their children from going to God who gave them that authority. A son to me a nyame di ma awufo nti no. Awufo binum e disa to me no E si wo ma kwan se wo ma won ko nyame a o de sa to me no e ma won no enchen God told children to honor their parents when he gave his commandments to Israel in Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 and in the new covenant that honor is clarified Yankupon ka kire mo fra se woni wo agane won ni wa bra o de ma israel e wo exodus nguma no ti edio no chichemu dumie no nanso so wo apam fofuro no mo sa enidie no wo chirechire mu ye in the new covenant it is stated in ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 to 4 that children should obey their parents in the lord just as the parents are also to train and admonish their children in the Lord. Wo apamfu fromo no. Wa tro wo efiso fo nwoma no. Tinsia. Chiche mu ba kon ediko si nai se. E mofra entie won awufo e wo e radimu. Se di e awufo nsusu e titi won ma. No wotu won fu wo e radimu. So the parents and the children are to be in the Lord. Nature say, I will follow any one man as they say, what a radimu. The parents are to train and admonish their children in the Lord, and the children are also to honor and obey their parents in the Lord. So the emphasis are the three words in the Lord. As I said, our phone etiti wo ma no tu won fu wo eradim. And as I said, a man so so edi won jan won nani na wo ti won e wo eradim. Nature said, en yina so no e yen sem fo ami ensano wo eradim. But unfortunately, some parents who are not in the Lord prevent their children from going to God by using the authority that the same God gave to them. Now, Rahu Sabni said, Awu fo binuma, womu ni eradimono. Womu si woma hukwane se, woma won konya minchen. Na woyesa, no wadi tu mi kronwa eradi Edima wonu eno odi eka edima franso. When such parents prevent their children from going to church, they tell their children, "You have to listen to me, because God said, Anna, your father and your mother." Mm-hmm. <laughs> they use the authority that God gave them. Mm-hmm. It's very funny, eh? Se sa wo fo no esi wo makwan se wo mo nko asori a wo ka kire wo se mu ntie me e san se nyankopon se di waja ele wo nani ni je so mu pese o mu di sa to me no a nya me di ma wo mu no na e ejuma na e basa e sripa but they forget and remove those three underlined words that clarify the authority in the new covenant. Those three words are in the Lord, as I said earlier on. Nansu so ure fi wangu e mo woyi san sinfwa mi en sanwa e chre chre sa to me diye no e mu yiye pa e wo apam fufuro no mono. Na san sinfwa mi en san makane dada no e ne wo e rade e mono. That the parent should admonish and train the children 
in the Lord. And he said, Our four a bit too ni mafo. Na what it won war a radimo. The parents are supposed to train the children in the godly way. And that is in the church. As I say, our four no titi won manu. I won yam some quansu. Ne no no. And he said, We yen wo a sorry mo. According to the new covenant clarification, if the parents are not in the Lord, meaning they don't go to church or are in a demonic church or worship demons, they lose their authority. They can't prevent their children from seeing the true God or for them to be in a good church. Say, Udiba, a pamphu front church, a muno, a mamuda hopano, a moa. Say, I will for be any a radimo. Next, I say, O mon qua sorry. And now say, O mo a damoni a sorry mo. And now say, O mo sum a damonia. Or shrees are to me. Yes. One to me see, O mon quain say, O mon co, yam me kain and chain. And now say, in that case, if an adult son or an adult daughter refuses to obey the parents who are not in the Lord, he wouldn't be wrong in God's eyes. Because the parents have also disobeyed God. They are not in the Lord. So their advice will let them go to hell. Se ebasa babe ma wenyi ana baba wenyi e kan se on tie na ufo a on ni fo e wo urade eni so e san se awofo no so so ate atua wo mu ni urade mu enu nti wo ma futu no e be ma wo mu akobon samjem and for not being in the lord the admonition of the parents to their children concerning worship is a bad one. Ne se omu ni eradimono. A futu onua. A ufono edema woma. A efa esomono. Enye papa. The parents have become an abomination in God's sight for impeding you from worshipping God who created you. A ufona bedani e busudie e wanyami e niasi. Se o si u kwan se o ma un ko nyan kupon wa obo wo no enchen ko somono Such a situation is like an illiterate father who wants to advise his undergraduate son about his course at university and that cannot be possible Asemu etisano etise ja onko sukuda na opese o tuni ba Osia pomu fo efa na disia osia ne ho na no be de na ye enye ye da that is a wrongful assumption of authority over the son e basa enu de tumi a opese udidi abofra no so no enye ne kwan so the illiterate father can't advise the son about what he knows nothing about Eja onko sukuda na onim akinkan enim woma no ontumi ntu ne banfo emfa dia onim hwe emfa ho similarly if you are a father or a mother and you are not in the lord or you don't worship god you can't advise your children about god Sansu so na se wo ye ja ana se wo ye mame na se wo ni awurade mu ana se wo nsom nyame a wo ntumi ntu o manefo emfa nyame ho because of giving birth some parents challenge god as if they are the ones who created the children a son a wonti 
awufo binum eni nyame etwe edi asie ti se de wo mu na wo mu bo ankoda no giving birth is different from creation asuno se owo en asuno se wo bo ade if you use god's seed to conceive and produce a child it doesn't make you the creator of the child. So who did you cope on? Edu abanyi say na uba asia interese o na ubo akodano. If God gives you a seed of maize, and you plant, and the seed germinates for you to get a farm of maize, it doesn't mean that you are the creator of the maize. Say you cope on ma wabro. Eduaba, nesa uko dua na unya ebro fua, asia inchese una ubo ebro no. You only planted it and didn't know how the seed germinated. Mm-hmm. It is God who produced the rain mm-hmm. and the sunshine. Yeah. Ude udua keke na uangu e kwa e faswa eduaba no e fifi e e yenyame e ne tonsio. Na oboria eguso. So the process of reproduction was created by God. You as a mother are only a carrier of the seed. Let's just say, a kwa e faswa ye di wu nipaba asasi sunu. E nyamine boye. Wu se e nano. Wu di e duabano e na odi shew yem. You didn't know how the blood became a human being. Yes. A kwenye faswa e moja no dan ni pada seni no. Wa hongwe. It is God who did that. E inyame and a yesa. So if you are only the carrier of the seed, you were not. And you are not the creator of the seed. And unti se ukra eduabanoa na enchre na engusu enchre se una ubo eduabano. Therefore, a mother or a father is wrong to prevent the children from going to God to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And unti ena ana se eja ayam fumso se osi ne mau kwanza. If you do that, you become an abomination for preventing God's creation from coming to Him. So we are sir, we are busudiye se who sin yangu pa body kwain se u ma wo ma nchain. You stand between God. And his creation. Ube jina nyame. Ene na bodye entem. You have become God's enemies. You are preventing innocent children. From going to God. And the Lord Jesus said. It is better. If you die in the sea. With a millstone. Around your neck. Mwa dani nyame atamfo. Mu si mofra. Wanguni ya simbi ya kwa hini. Semu mawonko nyame ho. Mm-hmm. Ne radi Yesu Kristo kase. Se di kunku mabuwa kesi ya semu kon. Na muko uwa pudu mukra. Enu di enkeye. If you are a parent. And you don't want to be seen as an abomination by God. And be punished vehemently by him. Don't impede any of your adult children. From going to God. Mm-hmm. Se uye awufo. Nen se um pese nyankupo be hun se uye busudye. Na wan chinwa soa e muye den pa. Men si u babiara wanyini kwen da. Se u manu mko nyamin chen. As an adult son or daughter. Don't let your own believing parents block you from God. Se babema wanyini. Anase baba wenyini no. 
memma wa ufwa wanji nyamini ensi ukwain se o ma unko nyanku ponchen. If you obey your parents and disobey God, you agree to suffer with your parents. So who tell you how for? Now we are so deep in my yamia. What parents to say when you are for be hunna money? Another way of blocking someone from going to God is through the authority of a husband. A kwan biwa. Obi betu me si obi kwan se o mane nko nyankopon chen no enam to me a e kunu bi wo eso some husbands use the authority they have over their wives to prevent them from worshiping god and that is very very serious e kunu bi nom e di to me a wo wo e wo won yire so no e si won kwan se O ma won kosum yame. Na ya sema e humba. Such husbands see themselves as teen gods. They exercise undue and demonic authority over their wives. Sa kronom nuhu omu se da bromu ye nyame nkitwa. E nunti omu edi o sha. E ya damo ni she. E ne she omu ye renom esu. Such husbands threaten their wives with divorce and say that if you go to church, that will be your end. Mm-hmm. Hmm. In Africa, the men say, you will pack your things and leave my house. That will be the end of the marriage. Mm-hmm. What such husbands forget is that the wives are God's properties. The wives belong to God. The wives are God's creation. Yeah. The husband has not created any woman. So he can't prevent the wife from going to her creator. And for preventing your wife from going to God or worshipping in a good church, you, the husband, have become an abomination in God's sight. You have taken a stand against God. Mm-hmm. You have become God's enemy. Mm-hmm. If you are a wife and you don't want to be called a widow and be affected by God's wrath and punishment, refuse to be in such a demonic domineering marriage. So we are here. Now we pese a befre kuneni. Ana se um pese nyanku pon be bufu shiene na suche be bauswa. Men person tina sa wari enwa. Eye adamone sheswa no asi. If you love the Lord as a woman, don't love the man who doesn't love the Lord. Doctor Kuku does he said that. Let me repeat. I say, if you love the Lord as a woman, don't love the man who doesn't love the Lord. Mm-hmm. Dr. Kuku does he said that. Say, we are ba nasa udo eradia. Men do be ma undo eradi. Missy Subiu. Missy say, we are ba nasa udo eradia. Men do be ma undo eradi. Dr. Kuku does in a kaya. Such a marriage. It's not right 
in God's sight. Sa wari eno, entine o nyami so. If you are a wife under such a situation, and you disobey the husband, and you go to church and the marriage breaks, you will not be wrong in God's eyes. So we are born now, cause I to be a mo. Now so we can say, "Untie ukuru." Now we go as sorry. Now so we are here. No egua. We nyami eni aseno unifo. Because God would never join His daughter to any demonic, domineering husband who doesn't like him. Yeah. It sounds like nyami mfani baba. Emma Adamoni ni bema or she maswa on penasem wari da. Such wives go into such situations because they were not righteous themselves before they married such men. Sa irenum a cosa tibienum, a son say, O man casano montene, and son om wari wari, sa me manu. If they were righteous women, they would never, never marry men who don't like God. If you are a wife and you don't want to burn forever in the hellfire, don't let any ungodly husband block you from going to God and to have eternal life. Because that man Cannot give you life. Se uyo yere ne se um pesa obe shiafi bo o jano enum danu mo me ma be me biara on sumnya me ensi o kwan se o ma un konya kupon chain na o ma unya dan kwan esanse sa be mano un tu me ma un kwan. If you remain in such a marriage because of certain privileges that you will get, and you die and go to hell. You hate yourself. So what transa aware num? Esa mfaso bi aube nyanti. Nese u na uko bon sam jemo. O Taiwan kasa u. It is better to be free and live forever than to be enslaved and burn forever. Doctor Kuku Dazi said that. Messi, a yesa ube nya fahudi na wa transa fibo. A chance ube konku wa sumu na washi afibo. Mm-hmm. Dr. Kuku does in a kaye. Mm-hmm. And if you are a husband and you don't want to attract God's wrath, listen to what God says he will do to people who block others from coming to him. And don't block your wife from serving God properly. Join her in the service of God. And that will give both of you peace, joy, and eternal life. So we are kunu ne se um pese nyangu pon ebu fushi ebe baswa ti asema nyame kase odibe woma womu si ebinu mo kwa se woma woma nenche no na wen si uiru kwa nda se woma nengo nyangu pon che eni uiru nengkamu na monsum nyame ne nudi. Any dear, a sum jay, any dankwa, a bebrem. Amen. Another way is by a demonic boss. A quite beyond soon, he said, and fa a jumamu penina, or ya damon in a so. When a boss is demonic and doesn't like God, he can prevent a worker from going to God or to church. Se ejuma mu penye bi ya damo ni nine se ompe nyamea. Ube timi esi ejuma ni hu kwa nse. Oma ni nko nyame ho. Anasa oma ni nko asore. Such a boss can pile work loads on the Christian worker. Wants the Christian to come to work on Sundays. Or let him run some errands on worshiping days. Sa ope yine no. Obetimi a paki e juma pi a gu kristo ni e juma e nene so. Opese kristo ni ne ba e juma kwe siyada. Anye sansu kwa wada ye di kwa asore no. 
No, as someone say, "Uncle, did you maybe man?" Oh. That is deliberately preventing the Christian worker from going to God. Mm-hmm. Such a boss becomes abomination in God's sight. I know the nature say, "What shed that say?" Who see Christoni a juma ni ne kwa se umane nkoni anko ponche na sape ni no ubeye busudi e wonyame eniso. If you want to be with God, don't work under such a boss. Quit that job and pray. And God will give you a better job with favorable conditions. So, you can see that 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 you can see such a boss is contracted by demons to use the work to block people from going to God. So I pay you know, at that money now born a passer, on fair human so in sinipa kwain se omo onko nyanku ponche. It is a job designed to block people from worshiping God. A yajuma yashe da she she se in sinipa kwain na wansum nyame. That is why the conditions at such a workplace don't favor people who want to worship God properly. Enunti na nshesha ya ewe juma etisa emono emuwa nipa opese osum nyami yenu. I call such a job Pharaoh's job. Dr. Kukudazi said that. Don't try to steal it. It's my own description. I say such a job is Pharaoh's job. Me first say Juma no Pharaoh Juma. Doctor Kuku Dazi Neka. Friend one year. Say Juma Tisano. Me friend of Pharaoh Ejuma. That was what Pharaoh did when Moses and Aaron went to tell him that Israel wanted to go and hold the festival and worship their God. Say na Pharaoh yeah yeah. Wa bra Moses ni Aaron koka che ni say. Israel for per se wo ko shefa na wo sum wo nyame no when pharaoh heard that he told the taskmasters to increase the task of the israelis mm-hmm. so that they would not have time to go and worship god as moses and aaron demanded wa bra pharaoh ti sa pe eno ka kire wo mo ane hwe israel juma ye fo no so no se one fair Jumani being Kahun said the bear won ya daji na one kosumi yame said the Moses in the air on all and for intentionally preventing Israel from worshipping God, Pharaoh became an abomination in God's sight. God punished him vehemently. Pharaoh said that say oh see Israel coin say oh my one sum yameno. Or ye busidia ewa yamienim. Yame china so ewa kwaya na no ye de so pa. God unleashed his wrath against him. And because of Pharaoh, Egypt went into hardships. Until finally, Pharaoh and his army were drowned in the Red Sea. Nyame sani ne bufu shie ego neso. Na esan Pharaoh nti. Egypt if we call a who he he mu pa, eko si se pono, e fa Pharaoh, e ne nasra fori na. That is how serious it is to prevent people from going to God. Sa ni huwa eye se usi ni pa kwa se umwongo nyango ponche. The Lord Jesus said. It is better for stumbling blockers to die in the sea. And truly, Pharaoh, who blocked Israel from worshipping God, died in the sea. A radio yes to Christo say, A yes, sir, wow, to sin to do a sea in Nippon coin, sir, one more one man in China, who a pum. Now, sounds so soon as he. Pharaoh or see Israel for coin say one more soon yamino. Oh, wapum. 
If you don't want God to unleash his wrath upon you, don't do any of these abominable things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And until some person yah me best son in a bushier a goosewa, men yesa a busudie mu biabi, a wo yesu dinti. Amen. Amen. If you want to escape God's wrath because of your abominations, give your life to my Lord Jesus Christ by praying this prayer with me. Say. Um person yang kupon bufu shi ebe bauso. E san wo busu diye nun tia. Fa huma mira Yesu Christo. Wa bra wone me bosa ampaye. Lord Jesus. Eradi Yesu. I thank you for speaking to me today. Me da wa se. Sa wa kasa che mene. I accept that I am a sinner. Me jitu se mi yedi bon yeni. But from this day forward. Nen su e fri neru kri. I believe in my heart. And confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins. And write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for letting people know the things that you abhor so that they will not indulge in them Mm -hmm. to attract your wrath. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mi shira o pa 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 pa. Onu ya dofu a uti e ye e ye Dr. Kuku Dazi Efrim. Na uti e nkan. O 105.7 AP Radio. Na o pese uti e meseji ibi omu yia. O beti mi ansan eti e ni bi omu. O kuwa da ni fi ada e nyumre no ansun. Na o shishe ye chila kwa ensu na pese o ni ebe suma. Ye wo Holy Land. Holy Land ne e wo kase. Kasi Main Road, we will say filling stations between two so. We drew well filling station. We send it fast so. Kwain that in chemu sanu kwasi. Fasa kwain so a kwesi for bichaya. Enko be 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 um. We will say yawo ho. Ene kwesi adano pay. So no chance no kuno. We kuada yumri no numne fa. E Bible adisiya. Ene fiada e yumri no numne fa so e yempaibu. Ne ne yapa pa guswa wachere che e chiwa dia. Shenya mi e bufo, ne de no me so, e ba ye so, e ni e ma, e ma so. Pa kwa waka ye, e ni, a wofwa, wama, wama, enko, sorry papa, anasa, wama, wongko, nyami nche. Ana, e be ti mikura ba, se, e ye, adamfo, anase, ubiya, eno wusi, ni pebi kwa in se, wama, ninko, nyami nche. Na, da kan se, mbiya, wuko tu ye se. Wase, e ye se, Ya di kunkuma buwa kese. Ebe se hukum. Ne ya tuwa tupum. Eche se. E muwa be di u na muwa. E punase. Na ukra nasa kwe jema akahu. E ya di e hupa. Na wamu wamu yesa. Da midi ema jini mwono. Wamu ya adamu ni ma. Ana ase wamu. E ye. Which is a wizards. Because. Obi kwa sorry papa ebe buwadwa. Enye u nain wade ko. Enye u sika no wade ko. Enye u hune mdiya no wade ko tina ho. Ade na chin china un pesu wabe ko. Especially, e biya na ya wonu tu asori bimu. Na asori ya say. Miya mi ni mi yon ku biya. Wasi asori ya timu ye. Mi ma ya mi ni mi papa ni ye. E ni na fufo. De biya mu kompleni ya pon asori ya. Kasa kasa kuwa anu mbe kasa ufi. Bisi mi jaya kwa di ebe buwame so wamosi datine mu. Na mu si won tremu no o tremu akwa ko wu akwa hela na se mu be ya so ni yi enye possible asori bi o kwa o mu sise o ma sise no o si san be bi enye yi enti wu a wuti ma o nim se emfa won ko nya me nche no sisa na wo yesa nya me be bo ma wo jira awu fo so mu yesa no ada se wo be sisa no akwa asori papa ana so se wo be ja o bada ma na ko na wo awu tira se na odwin hu na hu se Ebe buwa u badwa. Ya mebe ye wadomu na usuwe jai. Anye sadia. 
Ebe ye te se die fero die ebi yo. O die ebi ya na enye e puase na wuko she. Na ka bi kuda ebe jamu. Ah, e wu wunu be ebi e fi ba ye. E nu inti be me nyami ebu fushi yo. E ma oso. Ne e nsi yo bi ya o pe nyami som kaya ya som. E ho kwa yi. Ma ne kwa da sore. Na oso kwa wodiye. Ne bi ya debi nyami be hu mobo na oso wa sakra. Nwa kwa sore papa. Da nyami shra. Amen. Amen mama. Onu ya. Nyami pese oje ou mkwa. Wati. Amen. Om pese. Okre biya beko. E janwa wo siye se. Abe shini pa fi bo hae nou mdanu. Mm. E nou nti na opese ou ten se mwati se. Ti se ou do ou hon. Pa eni ou mano a ou ou mounon. Eni ou mounon susu mama. Jane betu e radi. Ne jaya bousu diye. Amen. My dear. God wants to save you. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want you to burn in the hell fire that will never quench. That is why he wants you to hear the abominable things and refrain from them. So if you love yourself and your children's children, stop any abominable act and run to my Lord Jesus Christ. His arms are opened to receive you. And he has all the power to set you free. That is why I and action power, we always say that with God, all, all things, things are, are possible. possible. God bless God you. Bless you too.